Caves or lava tubes, which in Hawaii are pretty much the same thing, were really important features culturally. Lava tubes played an important role in Hawaiian history, from burial sites to shelter. Today, we'll be looking at the value of vai, fresh water, and lava tubes as a resource for collecting it. We'll be sharing with you folks traditions of collecting vai and why it was such a precious resource for Kanaka Maoli. Delina Mai, I am Bobby Kamara. I am Ho'ola Imide, and join us as we dive deep into the darkness and find the value that they hold. Delina Mai, I am Bobby Kamara. I was born and raised in Honoka'a on the northeast coast of the island of Hawaii. I currently live in Volcano and worked at this park, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, off and on for about 30 years, and I retired almost 10 years ago. Among my jobs while I worked at the park, I took care of cave resources. I was in charge of mapping caves, locating them, doing a lot of research and understanding their function and locations. Lava tubes are essentially tunnels in the ground formed during an eruption. A lava flow will crust over and the interior keeps flowing, or perhaps a lava channel or a river of lava forms, and very slowly a roof grows over it. And finally, when the eruption ends up Mauka, all of the molten material inside the tube will drain out, leaving a hollow space. Water was life in the old days, just as it is today. Caves were really, really important water collection features. As the water percolated through the pahoehoe, it ended up dripping into spaces underground, and so lava tubes were really important for collecting water. Dripping ceilings were noted, but no matter what time of year, you could always find water dripping from the ceilings of caves. The water was collected in ipu, or gourds, and then placed them on the floor of the cave to collect water. Very typically, because the bottom of the ipu was, was round, three pebbles were placed in a tripod on the floor of the cave as a balance for the round-bottomed ipu. And the dripping of water is not entirely random. There are big drips and little drips, and so with careful observation, the people who use the caves would see where the bigger drip areas were and place their ipu under those. You ask the elementals responsible for, for the water, and you honor them because they ultimately are the ones that are providing you the water, which allows you to live. But understanding how people lived in these arid lands 
helps inform our understanding of of how they must have cooperated and and shared these resources. Caves are managed today for a number of different reasons. Cultural practice, maybe not so much because I don't know anyone who actually goes into caves to collect water, although certainly some people might for, for ritual practice. But if they do that, it's a really private thing between them and their, their deities or akua. And it's really maho'oi or, or rude to, to go ask people about that unless they're willing to share it voluntarily. Cave resources include more things than water. There are many cave adapted invertebrates that live in, in lava tubes in Hawaii. Their primary subsistence are the roots of ohia trees that dangle from, from the ceilings. And those roots also provide conduits for the dripping water. So we're not necessarily protecting the cave resources. We also need to protect the, the forest growing on top of the cave. It's one of those things that we, we constantly need to, to conduct research. The Hawaiian newspapers, which were published from the early 1800s until the mid 1900s, are a trove of information. And unfortunately, much of it has not yet been translated. But I've seen many, many, many stories about all sorts of things recorded in those newspapers. And it's entirely possible that somebody someday soon perhaps will find information in those articles relating to caves, just like they found information about other important resources here. My name is Summer Roper Todd. I'm a supervisory archaeologist here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and I've worked in the park for 21 years. Lava tubes are really special, important places. Um, they house really fragile, irreplaceable resources. They contain archaeological sites many times, um, fragile paleontological resources such as fragile bird bones or sometimes extinct bird bones. Um, they also have uh, geological resources. A lot of caves have really cool geological formations that are really fragile like stalactites and stalagmites and other really cool features. Um, and they also house fragile biological resources and each cave is really its own living, breathing ecosystem with roots from trees, insects, moss in the cave entrances, plants and uh, minerals on the walls. And yes, all these resources are fragile and special and um, that's what makes them so important. It's important to remember always that caves in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, as they are in all national parks, are protected resources. Entry can be obtained by permit to scientists conducting research or to cultural practitioners who have a need to, to enter specific caves that may be closed. But because the resources in them are so incredibly fragile, it's really, really important to, to observe them from afar so people could gain an appreciation of and understanding for some of the cave resources of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park.